What's up guys? Here we have a uh, 2013 Hyundai Sonata. Uh, it's a GLS. It's a really nice car. And uh, I'm gonna show you what we're gonna fix today. It's uh, actually a steering wheel noise, which is this. I don't know if you can hear it. Hear that? We're gonna try to take care of that today. Now that sounds pretty bad, but it's actually not. If you'll notice, it's this tiny little piece right here. This piece is what gets worn in there and uh, causes this thing to make this noise. So uh, we're gonna take her apart right now and then uh, go fix it. So we're gonna make sure that that noise is no longer there and hopefully get rid of this car. All right, here we go. So first things first, you gotta take this top part off. I think you gotta just press on each side really hard and it's gonna pop up. And remove this, step one. Oh, you gotta remove the screws from right here. There's one right here. And then there's another one right here. So you're gonna wanna have your car on so you can move the steering wheel. All right, let's get that off real quick. Get the screwdriver. Start from the right, right? That's one. Let's get two, that's two of your screws. Make sure you put them somewhere safe so you don't lose them. And uh, let's see, I believe course turn your key off and uh, this should come off do the two ones that are on top right here we do this one right here so We grab it and we make sure we you push in right here so you can get it to unplug, get it from both sides, and pull it down. Now, boom, voila. Next step is to remove this whole bottom piece right here. And there's a few uh, screws that we gotta take off. Let's see number one right here, number two is right here. Side. Number four is right here. After you remove these, this should come off. All right, here we go. So we take these two out. And then. OBD which let's see. We gotta push it in right here and pull it towards do it this one. And then ta -da, comes up. We have our free part. Ba da 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 dum. Alright. Now it exposes everything so five screws which is uh, one it's a, it's a nut right here two three and there's two more right here four and five all right let's take these out this is a what is it about 10 millimeter right 10, ten millimeter okay. so 10 millimeter
This comes off, move it out of your way. Yeah. After you've removed all that, you're gonna wanna take this piece out. This piece right here, this is your air duct so it can blow to your feet. There's a uh, one Phillips screwdriver right here. Take this off and uh, it should come off. Let's see. Right, it should come off. There you go. See that? Easy. Now, that's gonna make it much easier when the steering wheel drops. I mean, the steering wheel, steering column, you know what the fuck I mean. Next step is gonna be to um, unplug this one, unplug this one, this one, this one, and basically come all the way around your steering wheel, unplugging all them sensors that are back there, okay? So, let's try to do it right now. So, you know, there's something here. One here, unplug this one. Just unplug this top one right here. Bring this down. Put this one on the side. This one too. This one. There you go. You're gonna want to remove this. This one. Yeah. Other way, okay? And once this wire hardness is out of the way. We're going to take this one out of the way, and we're going to take this one out of the way. Alright guys, once everything's out of the way, this is ready to come down. we got to get these out of the way, which is one. One right there. Number two is back there, that orange one. And the same ones are on the other side. gotta come off that right there and then there's gonna be that hook in the back I'm gonna wanna, yeah there you go pull a little bit forward and then uh, we are gonna reveal this suck oh yeah I'm just gonna, I got to remove this one right here pick it up for me yo there we go now nah, the other one's not in the way now you can go ahead and take this one down a little bit all right there's that bitch right there this is the sucker that causes the problem so we're gonna need a t30 and get that out so let's do it all right once you have your steering column all out this is uh, that little pump you want to get to and this is that little part you got to replace this shit is very inexpensive but it's doing all this that's a uh, pain in the ass and this is what labor rates uh, run up the job you know so let's do it all right so after removing the screws that go on here let's see how this looks Yep, here we go. Ah, look at that shit. Look at that shit. That's where the noise was coming from, ladies and gentlemen. This thing is worn the fuck out. So you see this right here. Let's see if I can take it out. Take this out. Let's see if I can take it out of here. Yep, this bullshit. Can you hear me that new one? Yes, sir. This bullshit wears out. And these things, these metal clamps, this one and this one, they rub together. So we're gonna clean this up real quick and then we're gonna put that new one. Look at the new one versus the old one. Yeah, I know, right? It's crazy. All right, let's put it together. Here we go. 
All right, once uh, we've cleaned up all the gunk out of there, we go ahead and get that new piece. Get that new piece in there. Let's see. Either way, it's fine. Doesn't really matter what direction you put it in. Just want to make sure that. There we go. Here we go. There we go. Now let's put this puppy back on. All right, and then you put it back on, back together, and let's see the results. Okay. Tuck it back in. Are we gonna put it all back together? Well, after a couple hours of, uh, well, not really, about an hour, right? Uh, At most. About an hour and 20 minutes, yeah. We're still gonna finish putting her together, but check that out. <laughs> Finally. Well, this is how you guys do it. Thank you for watching, and I hope you subscribe to my channel. And uh, stay tuned for more videos coming soon. So, thank you for watching. Ha, ha, ha.